Welcome back to your Feel Good Breakfast Show. This is Expresso, and you know that we are reaching the end of the year and we want to encourage more time to chill, relax, and to help overcome those burnout blues. So we got the Expresso team involved to tell us how they relax, and I need you to take a look at this. After a long day of shooting, I literally go home. I put my phone in my room, charging it, and I'm in my couch, watching TV, and I'm absolutely napping, but just chilling. Contrary to popular belief, I don't watch sports highlights. I uh, get to my Xbox, and I play, play some Assassin's Creed. Yeah? Um, I spend like 30 seconds with my kids, and then I'm exhausted. <laughs> I got to relax on one log up draw. If there's waves, I'll go into the ocean. If there's no waves, I'll still go in the ocean and chill and relax, or maybe a cold water experience or just a safe spot in the mountain somewhere away from the chaos where I can be free. Okay. Oh, a bath, a face mask, hot pop, always run by my husband. Uh, a food platter in the bath, you are. After a long day, it's my guilty pleasure is I'll pop uh, I'll, pop, I'll pop some um, Big Bang Theory on the TV and eat snacks. Like for me, it's just like the ultimate little guilty pleasure. Our topic, and that's why we had to weigh in. And now we have regist registered counsellor Sarah Everett, who is here to answer all of our questions and help us understand the important role relaxation plays in our lives. Sarah, welcome to your Feel Good Breakfast show once again. Thanks, Carl. It's great to have you. Quick one, how do yes. you relax at the end of the day? So, at the end of the day, my signal that the day is over is shoes off. Yes. And a good cup of tea. Tea and shoes off. <laughs> shoes off I and love a good that. cup of tea. That's the best. It <laughs> yes. really is. But I think it's important for us to focus on the role of, you know, relaxation. Mm. And we have to use this particular term quite wisely because I think that some people just feel like stopping the busyness is relaxation. And I don't think it's exactly that. So, mm. let's talk about the importance of actually understanding what relaxation is and why we need it. So re relaxing is actually the precursor to rest. So every single human, yeah. whether we like it or not, we need to rest. Yes. And sleep needs to be that priority. Mm -hmm. So in order to reach that goal, yeah. we need to find ways to relax and in order to rest. Good. I feel like you're talking to me now. I don't know why. <laughs> you have that look in your face like, yes, Carl. Relax and rest, eh? Hello. I got you. I'm hearing you. Uh, you don't have to shout. <laughs> uh, so but let's talk about how, you know, your job you know, your jobs are hectic, you know this. So sometimes you're getting into your job and there's just that rhythm. And you know that your job is a means to an end. You know that it's Definitely. enabling the bond for the house, etc. So a, jo a job is always going to be connected to this sentiment of it's keeping me going, yeah. right? Yeah. Now, how do we break away from that culture in our minds mm. to create an environment at home that could help us cope with the job and, and help mm. us feel more zen? So I think, Carl, you've, you've touched on a very important thing there is we are in a constant state of on. Yes. And, you know, unfortunately, well, there's some good things from COVID, but also some things that have continued is we, we struggle to switch off oh, and yes. we struggle to stop looking at that computer. Yeah. You know, you're getting the notification of the email and it's hard to, to not respond in yeah. those moments, you know. So... We've got some really good good opportunities with technology is you can put on your sleep time where those notifications don't come up um, or you are just very boundaried with your colleagues and you'll just say you can email me as much as you want but i'm only responding in these hours yes um, so i think it's about boundaries as well yeah um, and being really strict with those and you have to really stick to your boundaries because if you are going to tell people that you're not going to respond to them the I feel like the key here mm. is to try and drop the anxiety of saying, oh my word, yes. what's building up behind my back? Yes. You don't have to be involved in everything. Mm. You have to pitch up to every one of those emails. You can mm. chill. I think technology is making it a bit more, um, you're, you're accessible, which is a big problem. Yeah. So you're going to have to try and avoid that. So Definitely. let's talk about carving out relaxation time and some mm. of the strategies that we can do. I know you mentioned you know, turning your phone to airplane mode. I think that's one of them. That's great. It's a good idea. But in terms of to maximize that time mm. that you have as a, as a busy person, let's just yeah. say the average person, home at five, commuting, or yes. should I say home at six because of traffic, yes. and then you've got everybody at home and they, the kids have to go cooking to bed, cooking, cleaning, mm. da, 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 and then suddenly you get that time on the couch. Like, how do we maximize <laughs> that time and how do we carve it out so it's protected? Yeah, I think... Just like I was saying, we need sleep, yeah. we need to eat, 
Um, so within those things, we've got non-negotiables. Yes. So if you're going to make rest one of those, it's going to be easier to say, I need my 10 minutes. And uh -huh. it doesn't need to be a whole hour or yes. two hours. I think we, we tend to go for that all or nothing approach. If we can't have that whole hour bubble bath, then we tend to say, ah, oh, what's the point? Yes. You know, that even those few minutes are enough. Or even on the way to work, putting on something, listening to that instead of getting upset in the traffic um, or on the way home. Um, or putting on a good, your, your favorite radio show, that's yeah. something that really does help bring that relaxation yeah. in from a long day. And that's important as well. I think you also touched on the commute. I think often people, they let their commute belong to their office. Yeah. And I think it belongs yes. to us. It's still our time in the car. Yes. So we need to maximize it. Like get a podcast on, get a good radio show on, and Definitely. then go for it, which is wonderful. So in terms of just a, a nugget mm. as, we, as we throw this one away, for anybody who requires mm. some help in just getting some good work-life balance. Let's mm. talk about like just a couple of points that you think would be good for them mm. to just start the process. So I think you, you need to li listen to yourself, listen to your body. Um, there are some signs there that will help you know when is the time for me to start slowing down. Yeah. You know, that would maybe be when you're struggling to concentrate and actually get work done the way you usually would. Uh -huh. The cynicism tends to go up a little bit and Big maybe jump. The, yeah, just your fuse gets a bit short. Yes. Um, especially those around you at home will tell you yeah. <laughs> quickly. Um, so looking at those signs will then be your signal. Okay, listen, I need to do something. Yeah. But I think the biggest piece of advice I can give is take the things that you would do on a daily basis and be more mindful of what you're doing. So rather than thinking I need to add all of these things yes. to it, you're going to think, oh, I, I just, I'm so tired. I can't think of doing another thing. Yeah. Um, you know, be more mindful when you have that morning cup of coffee. Mind. Start then already. Um, you know, rather than thinking I need to work and work and work and earn that rest, yeah. start in the morning, start the day with that nugget. And be present in those moments. And be present. I think, instead of listing things ahead of you, just be present. Sarah, thank you so much. It's a pleasure. It's been such a joy listening to all of these nuggets. And you know what? We love that. You need to chill. You need to relax, look after yourself, be kind to yourself and take charge of your life today and carve out that perfect space to relax with Twin Saver as they give you the chance to create your own peaceful environment with a chance to win one of 10 bathroom makeovers worth 30,000 each. Visit twinsaver.co.za for more info and chill.